Now the next thing is gonna, I think it's gonna be the last thing we're gonna cover today, is something called socket interactor. So in a lot of VR games or applications, they define this certain area that you can put object inside of it, and the object sort of gets snapped to that location. So we're gonna learn uh, how to set them up. So let's create like a, I'm gonna call it, make an empty game object. Yeah. I'm gonna call it socket interactor. And if you search the component, there's the XR socket interactor. And what I want to do is that I want to add like a child here. Basically, the reason I'm, I'm making a child is that I want to actually see where this, this uh, socket is located in my world. If I bring this up. And we can make a material. Uh, let's call it uh, here material. I'm gonna call it green snap. Right. So this material is basically gonna show like a highlight of the object to the user, so they know this this game object can get be snapped here. So let's turn it to green. We can make this transparent. And let's touch it to, to the hover mesh material. Now if I try this. Copy now. Okay, it's not showing up. Okay, I think I know. So let's instead of doing this, I'm gonna bring it here. Let's make this larger. I'm gonna add the socket to here. Set the colliders as trigger and I disable the mesh renderer. I think now it should work. I think the problem before was we didn't have the collider. Now if I get there. Yeah, so you see now it shows like a it shows the highlights to us, and if I leave the cup, it's going to get attached to there. And you can make like a child game object to show this to, to users, so they know like there's something here. So you can now drop it here. So if I like throw this, it's going to get attached in there. And it works with different objects as well. So Grab the ball, throw it there, it's gonna go there. You 
capítulo 8. So it's like a magnet that attaches object. And you can also define like which object you want to get attached to it. So if I change the name of it, socket, cup, and this, when you using this one, it needs a little bit of like planning because it's very like, if you want to make it that it only works with certain object, it's like you basically you need to do it with hand by, by one by one. So you do need to do some like game design or application design planning for it. And so let's say that I want to make this socket only works with the cup and not the ball and other things in my scene. So here for the interaction layer mask, the cup right now is set to default. So I'm going to create a new layer, I'm going to call it cup. And make sure to actually set this as cup. And now, instead of, uh, right now it says to everything, so I'm going to set to nothing and then select the cup. So now, only the cup can get attached to this uh, socket that I made. So if I test this, So the cup can get attached to it, but if I, if I try the ball, see it doesn't get attached anymore, it just kind of rolls over it and it doesn't do anything. And you can also define interactions as well. So if you go to the socket interactor, you have interactor events. So when you hover over it, you can do some stuff and when you select it, you can do some stuff as well. So let's write the script as well. Let's write the script so when we put the cup in the in my socket, I want to change the color of, of it. And I want to make like a visualizer for my socket as well. So I'm gonna make like a cube. Oh. So I know where the socket is, and now if I go to my test script, which I have here, I'm gonna get the cup as well. So I attach the cup to here. Actually, I don't want the entire cup. I only want this cylinder. So. I'm going to attach it here, and now let's write the, let's make the new method, public void, change color of cup. And when I drop it in the socket, I want to, let's say, change it to blue. So I'm going to do cup dot Dot get component mesh renderer dot material is equals to blue.
So now if I go to socket on select enter, I drag the test game object here because the script is attached to it and it's called uh, change color of cup. So now if I play it, So I can grab it, if I drop it here, oh, I did not Okay, I must have done something wrong in the code. We have one error, so let's check it. I don't need this one as well. Because the blue is actually a material, yeah, it's not the color. It should work. Let me. It could be because the. Um, so let's change the material type of this one. Material. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try it on hover enter. Let's write the debug message as well. So we want to check whether this this method is getting called or not. So debug So let's clear the bug maybe. If I grab this. So it's getting called, it's just that the method I wrote is not correct.
So I'm gonna do it a bit differently. I think this should work. So I set one to blue. And I'm gonna change the name of it to white. So if I go in my test script. Oh, it's because it's cute. Cup. I don't need this. It was actually it was correct. I was just changing the color of wrong thing. change color of cup so let's try again now it should work so I go there I grab it now when I enter it's going to change the color and we want if we want to we want to set it that when we only drop it it changed the color I need to change because now I set it to enter instead of enter if I set it to unselect I can uh, where is it? yeah change the color So if I grab it, I drop it here, now it changed to blue. But if I grab it back, it's gonna still stay white, it stays blue. You can make your, your own script to change it back. So basically just make another method and drop it here on select exit to change it to the original color. And that's how you use sockets. It's, it, it has a lot of functionalities in like VR games and application because you can do a lot with it activate different like tasks or create like gameplay make the user collect the stuff and bring them in so that's how you use socket so I